What would be an ideal car of the future? Easy to drive, smart, powerful, attractive, affordable, sustainable, or a little bit of everything? Would you be interested in getting such a car? A small crossover that's quicker and at the same time way more affordable than Tesla Model Y? Imagine a crossover like that with more horsepower than the Audi RS Q3, but with a minimal carbon footprint. If you can't, it's still okay because you don't have to. Because Volvo has already created the EX30. It created something that is going to redefine the compact SUV segment. Something that has the potential to wipe out the competition. Stay with us and gain insight into Volvo's most anticipated model for the next year. The brand new Volvo EX30 just had a premiere and it will soon become the smallest model in the brand's lineup. Despite the all-electric setup, it will also be the most affordable Volvo in the lineup. Finally, it will be the quickest Volvo you can buy. But let's start with base design characteristics first. If you take a quick look at the exterior design, you can easily see the same aesthetical approach as in the case of the EX90. The design language is the same, and once again you can see those recognizable headlights with Thor's hammer which are now divided into small segments to bring a bit of a retro vibe. Speaking of retro vibes, the old school Volvo badge makes up most of the area that used to be reserved for a grill. Nevertheless, the EX30 isn't just a downsized EX90. The proportions are actually different, and this tiny SUV looks a little bit boxier than the full-size relative. The rear quarter panel seems bolder and more muscular, while the C-pillar is designed to create an illusion of a floating roof. It doesn't have the lowest drag coefficient around, so it's clear that EX30 is rather imagined as a small street racer than a highway cruiser. This is a really small crossover, which measures just 166.7 inches in length, while the wheelbase is a little bit over 104 inches. Still, don't forget that this is still an EV. Despite the tiny dimensions, the EX30 weighs more than 4,000 pounds in its most basic variant. That is why we can hear from the officials that the engineers paid special attention to things like weight distribution, low center of gravity, and other things that have a big impact on the overall driving experience. We already know that another off-road version of the EX30 will come too, most likely already in the next year. That model will wear the well-known cross-country badge and come with a good portion of off-road upgrades. Higher ground clearance, skid plates, and all-terrain tires are just some of the things that come to mind. Volvo has always been a highly appreciated marque among car enthusiasts, but for the masses? Not really. Your mom and dad probably liked it because of the super practical wagon layout, but they probably never consider it too appealing. That's a real shame because even though the small Swedish company had ups and downs during its long history, it was always innovative. Volvo's philosophy was different and being different usually comes at a cost. In Volvo's case, the culmination of that cost was the worst decade in the company's history. We are talking about the first decade of this century. A decade under Ford, which almost ended with bankruptcy. Eventually, the Blue Oval Company decided to sell Volvo, but except for the Volkswagen, major car makers weren't interested. So the company was bought by Geely, a little known car maker from China. Don't forget that those were still the days when we were all making fun of Chinese cars. Many expected Volvo to end up like Saab, which has been out of business for more than a decade now. Fortunately, things went in the right direction. By the mid-2010s, Volvo had one of the most attractive lineups among premium car makers. Volvo wasn't just about safety and technology anymore. It established arguably one of the most elegant design languages on the market and became way more prestigious than before. It was one of the first companies to include a capable plug-in hybrid powertrain in its regular offer, and it became obvious that the full electrification was just a matter of time. From today's perspective, it's clear that Geely had a perfect plan for Volvo. We won't bother you with the rise of the Chinese automotive industry much, 
But there are a few things that are good to know if you want to better understand why the new Volvo EX30 is going to be such an appealing car. Once it became clear that electric cars are the future, China started investing enormous amounts of money in its car companies. Soon enough, we found out that Chinese automotive makers possess world-class battery technology, and that, what's more important, they can make much cheaper cars than Western car companies with the same level of performance. Just take a look at the Chinese domestic market, and you will find tons of electric cars that are even cheaper than comparable models with internal combustion engines. As a part of Geely, Volvo also benefits from this huge technological leap. The new EX30 rides on the same sustainable experience architecture as the Zeker X and Smart One. It uses the same battery technology, and that's the reason why it's going to offer such impressive performances at such an attractive price. So, without further ado, let's talk some numbers. As mentioned, this will be the quickest Volvo you can buy. Namely, the range topping version will come with a dual motor setup, with one electric motor on each axle. The total output is rated at 422 horsepower, and considering the small proportions, that's plenty enough to ensure a 0 to 60 sprint in just 3.4 seconds. We already told you, that's quicker than the Tesla Model Y performance. Base models, on the other hand, will come with a single electric motor mounted on the rear axle, which is something we haven't seen from Volvo in a long time because the current models with internal combustion engines are all front-wheel drive biased. This seems like a very positive change, and the max power of 268 horsepower is more than adequate for such a small vehicle. According to the officials, this variant will be quick enough to reach 60 miles per hour in less than 5 seconds. The Volvo EX30 will be available with two battery capacities. Base models will feature a smaller, 51 kWh battery pack, and Volvo expects a max range of over 200 miles with this one. If that's not enough autonomy for you, there is a bigger 69 kWh battery on offer, which will ensure up to 275 miles per charge in single motor models. Twin motor models with the same battery are expected to be able to make around 265 miles on a single charge. Once again, we have to get back to Geely and the affordability of Chinese battery technology. Despite the very affordable price, this crossover will feature a pretty advanced battery with an impressive charging speed that goes up to 153 kilowatt on models with the bigger pack. This means that 10 to 80% recharging can take no more than 26 minutes. The DC charger comes with the smaller battery as well, and it's just a tiny bit slower with a charging speed of up to 134 kilowatts. Despite the modest exterior dimensions, the EX30 is designed to maximize interior space. Both rows of seats should be spacious enough for adults, but this crossover is actually much more than that. It combines clever design solutions with classic Scandinavian aesthetics. The minimalist design is complemented by numerous storage compartments, including sliding cup holders, while the super clean dashboard design comes in combination with a massive, vertically oriented touchscreen. The infotainment system is Google sourced, while the screen also reads out all the gauges because there is no instrument cluster nor a head up display. Another showcase of Volvo's smart design approach is a sound bar that spreads across the top of the dashboard, which replaces individual speakers you would normally find throughout the cabin. Style can go together with sustainability, according to Volvo. The Swedish car maker claims this is by far the most sustainable model in its lineup. It has the smallest carbon footprint, thanks to the use of recycled and natural materials. For example, 25% of all aluminum surfaces are made from recycled material, while 17% of all plastics and steel have also been recycled. On the inside, materials like denim, flax, and a wool blend contain around 70% recycled polyester. Everyone with a tiny bit of knowledge about cars knows that Volvo has always had a world-class reputation when it comes to safety. Back in the day, Volvo was praised for the thickness of its sheet metal and its impressive structural rigidity. Today, Volvo is an industry leader when it comes to active safety systems. And that's why we are not surprised to see the EX30 bringing a couple of brand new things in this aspect. For example, 
This small crossover will come standard with the new Park Pilot Assist, which is able to find a parking space for you and then help you park. Moreover, there is a brand new system that uses rear radars to detect bicycles and motorcycles approaching from behind to prevent these kinds of accidents. Of course, the well-known Pilot Assist gets further updates and upgrades to perform even better. The new EX30 will be able to detect and avoid or mitigate collisions with other vehicles, cyclists, and pedestrians in all weather conditions. Also, there is a brand new system with a sensor on the steering wheel, as well as an infrared sensor that tracks the driver's eye. This system monitors and collects information about the driver's condition. If the driver becomes distracted or drowsy, it will send a message signaling the need to take a rest. Pricing. The Swedish car maker already announced the starting price for the Volvo EX30. We know for sure that the most basic version, with a single electric motor, will cost a little bit over $36,000. As for the super quick dual motor version, the officials are still quiet, but we estimate this variant could go around $44,000. Thanks for watching till the end. What do you think about Volvo's new EV? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on new videos. See you next time.